Hey there everyone and welcome to the third and final uh, video of me doing the Thinkerbell matches. So this one is after we've had a bit of practice against each other. We've had quite a few matches by now and um, we really understand how each other plays. She knows how I move, uh, she knows how to how to kind of um, survive against me and um, I've learned kind of how to face static field a bit better like when it's best to run and when it's best to like time a teleport. Uh, so yeah by now the quality of gameplay has really improved. Um, I do a couple of mistakes. I've just watched it through before uh, before making this video. I do make a couple of mistakes, uh, failed follow-ups and that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, overall, I'm quite happy with my gameplay. It does do quite well. So this first match, we have Rose in there as well. Rose is a, is a very strong knight, stronger than us both. And um, she's not the most competitive PvP person, so uh, she kind of sits out of the fight a little bit. Doesn't sort of go crazily trying to get kills and stuff, so um, anyway... I didn't really know what to expect, I haven't really faced her before, uh, but uh, um, yeah, we'll just watch the match. So first of all, I go down here, and I spot Rose, so set up the fiery aura. As you can see, she kind of paused before attacking, it's just, you know, she's not the kind of crazy mental, um, you know, super efficient PvP player like me and some other crazy people. Uh, so anyway, come down here, um, go with the, uh, with um, a stun followed up by the polymorph, Chasing her down. Um, sorry, I I missed it there. But uh, basically, this is my usual kind of opening when I do the meteor strike. So it stuns her, catches her. I then follow up with a polymorph. She's had no time to do defense, but she knows. Okay, just run, 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 run. She's able to put the distance, put renewing mist up, get the other side of it. So I've got to go through. She then goes in with static field, uh, reign of horror, beautiful setup to then do mark ignition and stack a load of damage on. She very nearly got me there. And uh, just to rewind uh, for a second. Um, because I missed it. So while I had the Fabi Aura on here, she was still just focusing on the setup, get that Renew Mist to hold me back, the Static Field to on me, the Reign of Horror to kind of keep me there because I can't teleport out and that kind of stuff. I do actually do, this is like, I think the one point in the video, um, in this video clip where I do actually show me teleporting out of, no, oh no, they, no, sorry, this is not, this is not when I teleport out of um, the Static Field. Instead, what I do is a reverse teleport. I decided to go a bit flashy. And instead I tried to teleport up, um, I timed it, so then I teleported the other way. So this is when I did know how to teleport um, out of Static Field, but instead I decided to go fancy and do a reverse teleport. Um, so anyway, unfortunately, despite all her great setup, because I was able to teleport out, I was able to then go in with the damage skills and take her and finish her off. Um, that stun didn't get me for whatever reason. Um, so then I come in, she does some lovely movement immediately with the, uh, with the Shroud Guard, then hitting me with the debilitating stuff. She moves away to the other side. No renew mist. Uh, not entirely sure why, but she just tries to stack up the damage. Does a does a great job of trying to keep me away, but it's just not quite enough. She's a bit too cornered, um, so I can get all the damage skills on her, and I manage to finish her off. But still, pretty good fight there. Um, you know, keeping me away, and definitely survived a lot longer than you'd expect uh, when she was cornered like that. So I come in here and I use Fiery Aura stand right next to the knights. And sure enough, Rose uh, Rose attacks me way too much. Dark Knight then follows straight afterwards. At this point, um, I just want to mention, um, because you probably won't notice, but I've had my armor skill on for quite a long time uh, by this point. And I know that it's going to come off. Um, so I check my um, I check my armor skill just after I've taken these both down. Uh, you'll see... I check it, I see it's there, but it's still on, so I know it's going to come off, so that's why I immediately run to go around the corner. I use Fiery Orb, but she static feels me just before I get around the corner, so in fact, I wasn't quite around the corner on her screen. So she's able to stack up the damage, my armor buff comes off, and that's it, I'm gonna. Um, so yeah, great takedown by the, her there, and um, I probably I probably should have done something different. I just, when your armor buff's about to come off as a wizard, um, the best usually the best thing to do is to run. Uh, but that was my one death of the match, so, you know, it went well. <laughs> I can't really complain. Um, this next match, we've got an archer who's fairly weak and a knight who's fairly weak. So it's pretty much just between us two. And I can't remember how this one goes now. So we'll have to see. So yeah, some great stuff in that last match. Um, I think think about, uh, think about it's either this match or the next one where she has some brilliant movement. So um, I just tag her and then run a little circuit round. I... I'm not sure exactly why. But anyway, she does the Renew Miss, Static Fields. She spams a couple. Um, this, so, sorry, this is the point when I do a very, very clever maneuver. 
and um, I'm sorry to pause it uh, before it happens. Uh, I will play through the, the little battle here um, in full without any pausing. Uh, but what happens is that um, as she runs through, uh, she uses that Renewing Mist, she static fields me, I get stuck back here. And then I have to kind of try and think, because she hits me, she spams static field. And it's something which um, I feel like these clips don't really show how much she does it. She usually uh, spams static field as fast as possible. And by hitting them so much with that, it makes it very, very difficult to move. However, I managed to time a teleport um, to move over here, basically breaking that line of sight, so she is forced to pull, be pulled in. Uh, she gets pulled into this corner, and then I run back round and polymorph her, and then I can hit her with the damage skills and finish her off. That's what I do, and then uh, now you can just uh, see it happening. So you can see getting hit by the static field, the Reign of Horror, I then time that teleport so I can come through and um, and clear off that way. Bit of quick thinking by me, and it did it did come off quite nicely. Uh, if I if I hadn't got that timing of uh, the teleport well, she probably would have started, um, you know, done mark of ignition and just stacked up damage and killed me off. But thankfully, it went well. So again, using the corner, she does shroud guard uh, right at the beginning, starts attacking with stuff, renewing mist. Um, I think she stunned me there, so she knew she didn't have to set up the stuff uh, to begin with. She could try to get some damage on. But yeah, renewing mist, the static field, I was away, so she could start attacking. And great takedown. Brilliant takedown by her. Um, I couldn't really uh, fight back there. Oh, yeah, I remember. Sorry, that's <laughs> this is the point when I get super lag. Uh, I didn't notice it for some reason while doing this commentary now, but... um. Uh, you probably would have seen in that in that uh, encounter which we just had. Um, I was really struggling. This is more of a more of a lag death than anything else. Um, my healing shrine came out like one or two seconds later, so I didn't I didn't actually heal up from it properly. And anyway, I can't remember the exact cases. But anyway, so this is meteor strike. Got it with a stun. Timed the the polymorph afterwards. Unfortunately, she just ran straight into that. She wasn't prepared. Uh, she was probably running up for this kill and like thinking about that and didn't see me coming in. Um, but yeah, I get some quite bad lag in this match. Uh, that previous death, I can't remember exactly what I was going to say about it, but it was it was more of a laggy death than anything else, uh, unfortunately. I mean, it was it was well played by her, of course, as well. And this point, brilliant, brilliant control she's got there uh, with the renewing mist on me. Her movement around me, um, I think, is messed up slightly because of my uh, my desyncing. But anyway, she was using the right skills. It was going fine. Um, it just didn't quite didn't quite pull through at that point. And then we got our last little encounter of the match, which I'm not sure exactly what we do, because there's just a few seconds left. <laughs> but anyway, that's the end of that match. So now we've got the third match, and the final one um, of all of this, uh, this is the final match. We've got the knight, a knight and a wizard. So this one, I think, has got some brilliant gameplay by her. Uh, you'll see some great kills. Just to do a quick check, see her down there. I do the flame breath, kind of thinking that maybe we'll fight, but um, yeah, she's gone off to get the other kill, so I'm going to get this kill. Um, and I come in. This is where she plays really well. So I jump in and I set up my stuff. I've got Fari Aura on. What she does is Runu and Mist right on top of me. She runs around, great little movement around me, uh, doing Shroud Guard, Reign of Horror, starts spanning the static field as soon as she gets a little bit of distance from me, Mark of Ignition when there's an opening. Because my defences are actually off, you know, the, the healing shrine's gone. Uh, my fire ore I used as I went in there, so that was kind of out of play as well. And so, yeah, could take me down really easily. And she knows by this point, because we've had quite a few matches, that she can uh, she can kind of tank me if she's running around that Renewing Mist um, and got Shroud Guard on and not actually, you know, attacking my fire ore at all. There was a, a failed follow-up uh, from my Polymorph. I used Healing Shrine, I think, by accident. I didn't need to heal at all. I think I meant to use Flame Breath, it's just, you know, the problem with the T. At this point, um, great bit of gameplay by her. I managed to heal up though, and um, just stacked enough damage with my Fiery Aura. You could see the, the Scorching Arrow she did <laughs> almost killed me, um, despite, you know, me healing. Uh, but yeah, that was another great encounter. I'm not going to rewind back over it, but um, yeah, good stuff from her. It's those three skills on, on Archer, really. The Static Field, um, uh, Brain of Horror, and Renew and Mist. With those three skills, you can really kind of control people's position and, you know, how you're gonna, how you're gonna take them on. And then you've got the Shroud Guard, which just means you could, you can tank. 
you can actually, you know, tank most of the things which I throw at you. This point is actually really, really good. Uh, what she does here is excellent. So I'm, I don't know why I'm not really killing off this knight. I'm just kind of attacking these people. I know Thinkerbell's coming in, so I put Fariora on and the Healing Shrine. She comes in and does the Reign of Horror. She enters, sets up a static field. Uh, Renew missed her side. She's got the distance. She puts on Mark Munition, starts attacking. I move in and I'm like about to attack, but it's way too late. She's already stacked up the damage on me. Great, great kill from her there. Uh, so that's obviously the end of the match. Uh, she wins this one. It was really good fun fighting with her. Uh, we had some great matches um, over the course of you know the, uh, these few days or whatever it was um, that we did. We did matches together, and we both improved massively over the course of them. Really learning how to fight each other, how to you know use our skills well against each other. And I hope it's clear if you've watched these three in order and um, you know close in uh, you know one after the other rather than sort of spread out over a few days. Uh, you probably noticed the quality of our gameplay of you know actually fighting against each other improves. Her movement, I think, is really how uh, what gets better over the course of the videos. Um, she really learns how to move around me to get that distance uh, away from me and to control my movement. Um, I do a fairly good job of um, I do a better job of facing the static field though over the course of the matches because I get a bit more experience uh, facing it on uh, taking it on, and um, otherwise just using the corners. I do that a lot throughout all of these. Uh, so those are the Thinkerbell matches. I hope you um, enjoyed watching them. Um, I don't have any more Thinkerbell matches to share, unfortunately. Uh, she quit the game for a time, and she's been coming and going, I think, a little bit, but uh, we haven't we haven't been in any contact, so I haven't got any, any matches with her. But I'm going to try to get some matches with other good archers um, who, you know, use the skills very effectively, and um, hopefully that gives all you archers out there, which I've never really given enough. Um, I don't feel like I've given enough content there for, for archers in PvP, showing how to play, but hopefully these uh, these three videos and any ones which I come to make with um, with other good archers uh, should really give an idea of how you can play well um, as an archer. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.